if you're looking to be close to downtown and the Med Center, but not too close, if you're looking for a bit of a small town feel, but still want all the shopping and amenities close at hand, then you may be considering Pearland, Texas. We're going to tell you all about it. But before we do, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest anywhere in the Houston area, give me a call, shoot me a text, or email, and we'll be in touch. All right, folks, let's get going with our tour through Pearland, an area that offers a bit of everything because, well, it's very spread out. You're going to have some master plan communities with new construction, properties on plus or, five, uh, plus or minus five acre lots. Uh, you got some golf course lots, waterfront properties, and the more typical suburban home um, many of us grew up in. So the best thing about living in Pearland is, you know, it just means enjoying the best of both worlds. In some pockets, you got a small town feel with access to big city amenities, like a variety of restaurants, from hole in the wall joints to, to only a few of the locals know, the great barbecue places. And you also have fa fancy steakhouses and seafood places. Uh, you're gonna be happy to visit on special occasions. Now, the top things to do in Pearland, um, obviously I, I think, you know, visit the Pearland Town Center. You got shopping, dining, occasional events for families and just you got the holidays, whether it's Christmas, 4th of July, uh, different things like that. You can definitely enjoy some family fun at the uh, Pearland Recreation Center, uh, the natatorium that features swimming pools, gym, game rooms. Then you've got the John Hargrove Environmental Complex, the wetlands, you got Shadow Creek Natural Nature Trail, so get out, walk, bike, you know, just get some, get some, uh, get some sunshine. Now, for more of a local adventure, check out the Sri uh, Minkashi. I'm probably saying that wrong. Temple. It's a, it's a Hindu temple that that really does kind of, uh, it's just something different. So there's a restaurant or, or kind of cafeteria there, but just definitely sights and sounds that you're not going to be used to, and definitely something interesting that you're going to learn from. Also, something for a bit different. Uh, either check out the races or better yet, take the kids to the Bearland, uh, Pearland BMX. And then if you haven't seen rugby, check that out. They've got the Sabercats. They usually do like rug rugby sevens. So it's just more of an upbeat, uh, kind of fast-paced rugby game. And uh, that's really a lot of fun. They also have a summer camp uh, coming up in July for kids. You can also spice things up. With some dance classes, some salsa dancing, some ballroom. They've got various uh, studios and dance classes around Pearland. Now, if you're going to learn to dance, or maybe you already know how, um, you also pair that with a nice restaurant. So, uh, some of the best restaurants are going to be Killin' Steakhouse, world class dining experience for steak lovers. They've got uh, seafood, extensive wine list, great cocktails. Then you've got King's Beer Garden and Restaurant. That's a, a German and Austrian place, so that's something different, something interesting. It, you've got Killen's Barbecue, so those are two different places. And again, you just can't you can't talk about Texas without mentioning barbecue. The beef ribs are, are just incredible. Um, you got to try those. So Grazi Italian Kitchen, that's also obviously an Italian place, warm, rustic setting, good place, good for the family. Now, in Pearland Town Center, you're going to have a whole host of things, but uh, Fish City Grill, Boiling Dragon, and Sakura, if you're liking more of the Asian flavor. Uh, and then they've got really places for the whole family, whether you're young or young at heart. Speaking of those young and young at heart, um, you've got some, some schools, obviously, in Pearland. Uh, they're served by the Pearland Independent School District, so they're, they're good schools. Check out greatschools.org if you want some more information. But... For elementary schools, you've got Silver Lake, Silver Crest, and Magnolia. For middle schools, you've got Rogers and Alexander. Uh, now, depending on where you are in the school district, they've got either kind of the, the either middle schools or junior highs. So middle schools are, uh, I think it's like five, six, seven. Junior highs are usually the kind of like seven, eight, nine. But it's just going to depend. And then, uh, so for junior highs, they've got Pearland, junior high west, and then uh, I think junior high east. And then high schools, you have Pearland High School, and then Dawson High School. But again, uh, check out greatschools.org depending on uh, what you're looking for. Now, for the, for the real estate growth outlook in Pearland, definitely with its proximity to Houston and the Med Center, you're going to go straight up 288. Makes it super, super easy. Uh, being so close, it's just south of the of the Beltway, 
so you've got easy access around the beltway if you've got to either go out to the ship channel or um, if you've got to go over to Sugarland, it's not too bad. So great location. Definitely has seen significant growth in the recent years. I think it's one of the, the fastest growing uh, from a census perspective in the last 10 years. And then as the area continues to expand, uh, real estate market is obviously remaining robust. So if you're looking for that suburban feel, but still want to be close to the action of downtown or you work in the med center, Paraland's definitely going to be for you. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest anywhere in the Houston market, uh, give me a call, shoot me a text or email. I'd love to help you out and find the right property for you and your family.